is up guys it is joe here from joe talks wrestling and today is the release of wwe 2k20 here in the uk i believe it's the same for the us as well um and with that being said i have well unfortunately for me but fortunately for you guys i have pre-ordered the collector's edition which means i am going to be 140 quid out of pocket um for a game that's mediocre at best um, but I need to buy it so I can review it for you guys um, and yeah so what today's vlog is going to be is just essentially following me as I go I make the trip to my local town to go and pick up the game um, other than that in this morning the other things I need to do uh, I need to go to the post office at some point I need to watch Aurora at some point I need to watch The Walking Dead I need to eat that's a priority uh, and then I'm hoping I know the uh, game which is what the store's called uh, opens at nine o'clock and it normally takes me around half an hour on the bus so we shall see at what time I leave I don't obviously want to get there bang on when they open I want to get there you know a little bit afterwards but let's go and make some food because that's my first priority so I think I'm just going to make myself a ham and cheese toasty. It's currently five minutes past eight in the morning. Uh, I am not home alone. Everyone else is just in bed. Um, so I have to lower my voice a little bit. And uh, if you can see right behind me, that giant spotlight, you, you guys are probably going to be thinking, why have you got a giant spotlight? Well, I'll tell you why in a later video. But it is for a Halloween special I will be making an official announcement very, very shortly, so stay tuned. You guys are gonna love it. But anyway, I want a ham and cheese toasty. Let's crack on. Woody, good morning. Hello. Are you still tired, mate? I think he's a bit tired. Never mind. Once he, uh, once he smells the toast and the toast is real, wake up shortly. Trust me, whilst I wait for my toast um, in the toaster, I have to talk to you about this. Um, right, essentially guys, I have to go into a massive town centre to get this game, which is very dangerous territory for me, considering I am your 24-7 champion. So, what I'm going to have to do is take my 24-7 championship, hide it under my jumper like this, do it up, hide it, and then, you know, cover it up so no one can see. So that's what I'm going to have to do. Um, but luckily, we should be all good. Um, hopefully no one recognises me, uh, which I doubt they will. Um, but, you know, I just have to be cautious at all times. You know, 24-7 champion isn't an easy thing to be. My toast looks like it's ready. Just like I said, I make toast and he comes out of his bed. Don't you? Don't you? You're silly, aren't you? Right, let's watch Raw. Right, so Raw was pretty mediocre. I skipped through most of it and sort of like skim watched it. Uh, I just need to take this to the post office for my sister. My next bus is in about 35 minutes. So I should be all good. Currently 20 past nine. Let's go. Right, so I've posted the, uh, the parcel that was for my sister. And now I'm just waiting for my bus, which is like 10 minutes away. So we will be in the town centre picking up 2K very shortly. Right, guys, let me give you a little update. Uh, so lots of stuff has gone wrong. There's been a major car accident on right where my bus route is. Uh, I've got the game in my backpack, but um, I can't get home. So what I'm going to have to do, there's no trains for the next few hours and there's no buses. So thankfully for me, my sister is like nearby. Um, so what I've got to do is I've probably got to have about a 40 minute walk um, and I'm now walking to a shop where I'll meet my sister because she's shopping um, and then hopefully should be able to get home, be all good so I can review this game for you guys. So yeah, I'll keep you updated. Okay, so hours later, I am finally home. Uh, that was a nightmare, but nevertheless, 
Here we are with the SmackDown Collector's Edition of WWE 2K20, as well as this free steelbook case that I was given by uh, by game. I'm not gonna be using this, um, but it's cool to have anyway. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go review uh, the SmackDown Edition of 2K, uh, then I'm gonna watch The Walking Dead, then I'm gonna install the game, and then that should pretty much be it for the vlog. So I will see you then. So I'm picking up the vlog directly after I have finished. I will be uploading the unboxing um, and like review first and then the vlog will be uploaded later on. Um, so yeah, here it is, WWE 2K20. I'm about to install this now, go down, watch The Walking Dead, come back up and play some 2K, try out the game for myself. So I'll see you guys when I'm done. Right, just before I've gone down to watch The Walking Dead, I've added on all of the new collector's edition stuff to my wall. Uh, from you guys' view, this is what you will see. Uh, I think it's cool. I didn't want to add the Ric Flair on last year because I had nothing else to put there, but now obviously I've got two extra plaques. So, you know, I think it looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? Anyways, it's time for me to start installing 2K, upload my, uh, what's it called? Upload my unboxing and then go and watch The Walking Dead. Let's do this. Okay guys, so I'm halfway through the Roman Reigns Tower. I've done this first. It's the first thing I've gone to, uh, mainly because it's an opportunity for me to play, uh, do one of the main things that they want you to do in the game and learn the new controls at the same time. And honestly, I've faffed around with a few things. This game just keeps getting more disappointing the more I play it. Like I went into Create a Wrestler uh, and I tried to change Jeff Hardy's face paint you can't, like, just, you know, little things like that, it's so annoying, like, now if I wanted to make an alternate Jeff attire, the face paint wouldn't change colour, so it's just stuff like that, then the new controls suck, like, there's no way of putting it other than that, they absolutely suck, it's two buttons, it's square and circle to do a finisher, when you've got a running move, like, the spear, like Roman Reigns, for example, the amount of times I've gone to hit my finisher in this game and it's just done a grapple or a normal strike because I'm pressing both at the same time, but the game isn't registering it. And I, you know, I triangle being the reversal button sucks. Uh, it's just, everything's just, you know, annoying me right now. Hopefully I'll adjust, but right now it's a bit suckish to be honest. And I'm going to end the vlog there. So, you know, if I want to rant about 2K, I'll probably make like a review video in like when I like beat the game. Uh, so that will be in the coming months. But yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this vlog. Uh, if you did, be sure to give it a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.